Hey guys, welcome back to the Rabbitat Homestead. So Lucky just had a, another litter um, a couple days ago. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna check on them. I'm gonna take them inside because it's pretty cold out right now. Um, but I'm gonna count them, see how many there are um, and see if there's anything I need to do for them. So let's get the rabbits and take them on in. Now, as you just saw, I checked on the rabbits and I ended up with six rabbits, um, but one of them is a runt. It's very small. So I'm kind of, I'm wondering if it's gonna make it. It's very, very small. And when I took it out of the nest, I don't know if you noticed, but it was one of the last, I think it was the last one that I took out, the second or last one I took out. Um, but that's because it's probably not been able to get get to mom. The other ones are stronger and faster than that, than that one. Um, so it's probably uh, missing out on some of the feedings from mom. So when I put the babies back in there, I put the fattest ones on the bottom and I made sure to put the little runt on the very top of the nest. And I kind of, I put all of its litter mates in there, let them settle down for a minute because usually they'll start kind of moving around quite a bit and then they'll settle down a little bit. And you probably noticed that when I had them on the towel, they were all hop kind of moving around, but then they all kind of settled and started to snuggle and fall asleep. Um, so when you handle them, they do that and it takes them a minute to calm down. So I put the five healthy ones um, in the nest, back in the nest, I let them settle. And then I took the runt of the litter and I set, I set it right near the opening of the nest still with its litter mate so it can get the you know benefit from the warmth of the litter um, but right there at the top so the next time mom jumps in to feed um, the baby will be right there and be able to latch on to mom and get some milk 
Um, so hopefully, I'll keep you updated. Hopefully that one survives. It's quite a bit smaller than all of its litter mates, so I'm a little worried, but we'll keep an eye on it and see how it's going, and hopefully, hopefully he makes it. So I'm gonna give her babies back. Here you go, Lucky. There you go, Lucky. All right, so Lucky's litter that I've been doing the rabbit series on are 12 weeks old now. Um, we're processing them this week, but I thought I haven't recorded them in a while because um, after my last video, weaning them and all that, there's really not a whole lot to really talk about. When you wean them, that's pretty much it for a while, other than feeding them and watering, giving them water and taking care of them. Um, but I'll show you how big they are. Um, I'll weigh them on processing day um, and give you an update on that. I'm not going to record processing these rabbits. Um, I'm gonna probably record Thumper's litter when I process them. Thumper has a litter right now that's um, over a month old. So I'll probably be processing that litter on camera, um, but I'll definitely do a processing video with rabbits at some point. Um, but these are my grow outs, the ones I'm processing this weekend. Let me show you how big they've gotten. So it's a little dark and I still need to do my rounds. I just got home from work, so I need to go around and give them water for a second time today. And it's a little dark, but as you can see, they're pretty big. 